All right. Good afternoon. Probably evening by the time you see this. But uh, today is going to be a live video. Not really. But not one that's pre-recorded for days uh, ago. So it's the 17th. It's Friday. It's probably 6 o'clock. And I had these uh, the beans sprayed Tuesday. Uh, like I said, they're Enlist beans. Pretty sure they use the Enlist Duo herbicide. Um, some positive results. Some results I'm not very satisfied with. Uh, but again, I typically don't... Uh, well, I haven't told you this yet. I was thinking in my head earlier. I typically don't like getting beans sprayed when they're too small. Even though everybody says, you know, well, it's in the jeans, they'll be fine. I'm seeing a lot of burning. Uh, I also apply a foliar feed uh, to my soybeans. It costs like $7 an acre. It's a tobacco fertilizer, actually. Uh, it's triple 20, put on five pounds of the acre in a foliar feed. Uh, usually wakes them up pretty good. Um, at least I had really good results with it last year. But again, they were taller. Uh, and, you know, any kind of spray fertilizer on a plant, uh, you know, 20, 20, 20, that's 20% 20 nitrogen. We all know nitrogen will burn stuff, you know, if it's sprayed on it. Uh, well, when the, the beans are bigger, uh, I'll try not to make this point too long-winded, but when the beans are bigger, uh, they can handle those, you know, if they got big leaves, they can handle a couple small fish eye spots or, you know, little br yellow, brown looking spots, but they're too short. Uh, I don't really like the result, but I'll get the camera flipped around and look at what the herbicide's doing. Uh, and like I said, it was uh, Enlist Duo is what we planted and uh, what we used for, you know, herbicide. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, and these beans out here in the middle don't look too bad. I found a, a big shiny piece of uh, uh, quartz. The kids are always like, how do you find that stuff? And, well, fellers, you just got to get out and walk some. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe I'll you'll get a better view on the return trip. Uh, yeah, so see that yellowing right there a little bit? Where the beans are big enough that's not too bad uh, but if you get real small beans uh, it can cause an issue uh, most of the light yellow you see out there are dead leaves of weeds I think that's lamb's quarter uh, there wasn't that much of it in here when we planted but it's just as tall as the beans are so who knows I could have kicked up some seed just in the process of planting uh, there's the neighbors beans they look way better <laughs> but they're also like running five hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment across the dirt not more like 500 you know uh there i'm pretty sure that was a ragweed although it oddly resembles a uh, roundup to heck and back mare's tail because that's what mare's tail does if you round up it uh, it's resistant so it'll come back with a whole bunch of different little nodes or you know little shoots off of it and they they look insane when you round up a uh, roundup resistant mare's tail but, yeah, there's a dead lamb's quarter. Or it's dying. I mean, anything that's out here wilting is dying. Uh, and that being said, I'm, I am kind of worried about the beans. Uh, here's the death weed, what I'm calling the death weed. This is that thing I was talking about. It's a spiny amaranth. And it looks like it's knocking it out. I mean, you know, she's laid over. We'll check the other fields here in a minute see what they look like. But, uh, yeah, so it's really nice out today. Um, Sunday is supposed to be 95, and we're not supposed to get any rain until, uh, like, Monday or Tuesday. There's a little bit of bug pressure. I know walking away from the sun isn't giving you a good camera, but I'm going to do one thing. I think I'm going to pick that spot. Let's go dig and see if we can find moisture. How about that? Sounds fun. down on one knee here okay there's still some in there I don't know if you see the color difference or not the moisture is probably uh well it's not too bad 
I mean, it's two inches deep. It's yeah, there's still moisture in there. I was really honestly starting to worry. Uh, you know, that'll probably be enough moisture to uh, get them through this heat spell we're going to get here in the next couple days. Uh, I'm seeing some stand issues over in this corner. Let's go take a look at that. Get out of here, fly. Jeez. Right, now, what you're looking at here is exactly what I was talking about. As far as being concerned with two small beans, let me get on the high side here. See if that view is any better. Alright, all the dark stuff you see. Uh, see if we can get in here a little closer. This is not a bean. This is a weed. This is exactly what we want. We want it to die. But this is a, is a bean. And it'll probably pull through. You know, this one will probably pull through. But you get over in here with this tiny guy, that one might not pull through. Uh, this one right here might make it. This one, probably not. You know, it's... So, that raises a major concern because I've got a big strip, uh, you can see, of death through there. And, like I said, the dark spots you see like that 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 that's a weed but all that light colored those are my beans so i don't see any tire tracks like he ran directly over those he might have and you know you're going to run over some but i honestly think it is due to the overlap and the herbicide application and i might call my uh i might call my seed and chemical professional and ask him what he thinks about that because uh, I definitely don't want uh, blank spots you know when I'm, me and my family's out here working I'm sure no farmer does yeah see this is from that uh this let's see if the dang thing focuses yeah these spots here that's from the the fertilizer not the herbicide little yellow spots like that and like I said it's is what it is but uh i'm really concerned with with all those beans they're smoked absolutely smoked so i guess uh yeah as far as stand stand issues what i what i saw from over there is a big open open ground uh so it's like uh probably had some broken necks might be able to walk and see that um, let's see, where's my row? My row, okay, we're looking for broken necks. There's something that probably plucked a seed. Uh, I'm not seeing any broken necks down through here. There were some on the other side of the field. But, a broken neck will be where, uh, your, uh, I don't know what kind of weed, oh, it's an onion. But a broken neck is where the bean has problems pushing through. So we've virtually got a blank row. And if you also look how smooth that is right there. We got a bunch of rain right after we planted. Uh, you guys know that uh, if you watch the other videos. Um, and what happens is you work that dirt up. And then when the water washes across of it, it crusts. Uh, most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I guess I've spent enough time talking in this field. I'll uh, just walk back to the Chevy with my tail between my legs. And we'll see you here in a bit. Well, I did the classic drop and go. Uh, you get onto something else to drop what you're doing. Lost my kid's rock, I found. Guess I gotta find where I was digging for moisture. Uh, that only took like 15 minutes. All right, there's the little two acre piece. Uh, stand looks much better. There's a dying weed. Uh, and remember that back piece, the piece I just showed you was, I didn't diss that, it, it was dissed about a month prior. Um, maybe that has something to do with it. These beans up here are, are really looking pretty good for, for how much, uh, you know, for how late I planted them and 
Ah, uh, see, look here again. See that brown strip? That brown strip. Look, that's them is burnt beans, man. I don't. I just don't understand it. There's a big old strip up through there. I mean, surely to goodness. Oh, if I end up with bare spots, I'm I'm not going to be very happy. I've already got a uh, bare spot I self-inflicted, and I'll show you that here in a minute. There's more burnt beans. It's like any place where there was a corner. Uh, it just burn them up. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know whether that was over applying of the fertilizer or the herbicide. Probably going to make a phone call on it. Good news is you see all those little dead weeds there. Uh, those were all the death weed. That's what I'm going to call it anyways. Because it was a spiny pig weed and it looked like a death weed. Uh, here's my fault. Completely missed this entire triangle piece. Uh, I don't know if I caught it on video or not, but the landowner was disking up here, and I don't know if, if I saw his tire tracks and thought that I had already made a pass there. These beans are short enough, especially the burnt ones. Probably going to come out this weekend with a hoe. Uh, that has a half a bag of seed in it that's drilled into the tarp. And I'll probably just hoe in some beans. It's, you know, what am I losing here? A couple bushel? You know, five at the max at this rate, you know, like 0.5, uh, cause there's a bunch of burnt right in there. You know, I don't, really don't get it. I'm, you're getting my reaction just as, uh, just as I'm giving it, you know. But the rest of the stand looks good, you know, where, I mean, it's obvious in a straight wide path, they're not gonna over apply a herbicide, but you know, up in a corner, uh, yeah, uh, this spot you're looking at here doesn't really make sense why they would over apply that. And it's not that I'm necessarily complaining. I know stuff happens. I don't, I mean, I've done plenty of spraying myself and over sprayed and under sprayed and did all kinds of stuff and I've never killed my beans with glyphosate. This is the first time for that in the list. Uh, but I mean, surely to God that emerged. You know, let's go look. Here's the dog kicking up some dust. Um, there's a bean. There's a bean. Um, maybe I didn't have a good emergence in this spot. Maybe I planted them too close to China. I, I have no idea. Looks like there's another triangle out there. I didn't see that last time I came and checked. It sucks. But... What do you do? You know, it's July 27th, there's a bean. There's a bean, there are actually beans in here. You, you're not seeing them because, you know, I have my crappy camera, my, my phone instead of the actual camera. Um, tell you in all this green mat here, what I'm not seeing is the yellow because the beans being burnt up are yellow looking, you know. So maybe this was just a poor stand spot and I'll see it. It still feels pretty dang soft. I probably planted them too deep. You know, no crusting. There's a bean. There's a bean. Anyways, you know, it looks good where it looks good and looks terrible where it looks terrible. Uh, I'm just hoping that the spray knocks out like those big weeds. Because uh, nobody wants to run them through their machine. Plain and simple. I guess on to the, the better field. Oh, about fell. So this is the 18 acre piece. What I'm liking to see is see how uh, maybe if it'll focus. See that tan spot on that hillside back there? That was like really just dirt last year, and I've got something growing on it. Hopefully, it's not weeds. Uh, the main weed problem was up here. Uh, a lot of grass. Uh, I know I hear you But if you get out here this this strip here really got burnt up with the weeds now there are beans in that and Once the weeds die down. I'm sure the beans will You know, they're already poking up taller when I came here the other day. This was just flat with weeds So the weeds have shrunk down plenty uh, 
the beans out closer into the middle were about a foot tall. They were up to the top of my boot. That's probably a foot. Yeah, and see all these purple stems? It's all that spiny amaranth. It's a spiny pigweed, but it's actually in the amaranth family. Um, again, some little, you know, yellow spots on the beans from the fertilizer. No big deal. But this is uh, 10 days and... $1,800 more in fertilizer difference between what we've seen so far and what we're looking at now. It was 400 pounds to the acre of pelletized lime and 400 pounds to the acre of MAP, which is like 1152 something, 05211. I don't remember. I'd have to look at the paperwork. Or you could look back at the video where I spread the fertilizer because I told you what it was. But, yeah, I mean, these, this is a stand out here, you know. Um, I'm pretty happy out here, you know. Got some uh, underachieving rows on the drill and some overachieving rows on the drill. But I guess that equals out to, you know, close enough. Uh, tell you what, I'm glad I got that rock, though, let me tell you. Because my kids, uh, you know, they like cool stuff like that. Now, I don't like the bald spot on the top of that knoll back there. Uh, probably won't walk back there today. Like I said, I'm going to get a uh, get a, a hoe and fill in some bad spots while it's still early enough. Maybe that's just silly. Who knows? But out here, I'm definitely going to have a stand of beans. I mean, they're, you know, they're nice and dark. And to be honest with you, they, I was almost thinking that the weed mat that's out here probably was helping to hold in some moisture. Because a lot of the other beans that I've been driving by uh, today and yesterday were curling up. And my beans do not look like they're starving for water at all. You know, they're still nice dark green. Uh... But yeah, there's your uh, first 2020 crop update. I think that's the first, might be the second. I know it's like the fifth time I've been here, but I wanted to share with you. So, if you like what you see, give me the thumbs up. Really trying to get 100 likes per video. That would be awesome. Getting there. And it's more for bragging rights. I don't have advertising on my channel. Or at least I don't think. You guys tell me, because I don't have it set up that way. But, uh... Yeah, and if you got any tips or, you know, something you could tell me, maybe you know what's going on, maybe you're a farmer yourself that sprayed this Enlist already, because it's been out a couple years, it's not anything brand new, uh, and you've seen beans like that, if anybody's seen beans like that where they're burnt up and what I just call smoked, let me know, uh, I think it's herbicide damage, I don't know, but let me know in the comments what you find, and, uh, you know, I'm getting the getting the hang on things, you know, trying to, trying to do the best we can. And uh, the other 706, probably picking that up either this weekend or next weekend. Uh, so be looking out for those videos if you're tractor guys, you know, you like the equipment. Uh, I like the equipment. I run the equipment. I fix the equipment, which sucks. But I like the crops, you know. I like planting a seed, watching it grow. Uh, being a shepherd of the earth, you know, tending the land, you know, try to just do your part as, uh, to help the world, I guess. But, yeah, come on back, and, uh, we'll see you next time.